I'm now going to talk about using aspect ratio masks, TV safe overlays, and the mask push-in feature. Right now we're looking at the full size uh, sensor. You can see that this isn't necessarily 4.3 like a um, standard deaf television. It's not as wide as 16.9 and chances are if you're going to a video format or to film you're going to need to see what your composition is going to look like in the end. And you may be sending out footage into different directions, standard deaf, high def and out to film and you may have different masking needs so let's start with the aspect mask it can be set from right here on the screen or it can be set from the menu I'm gonna go up to the menu and look at the menu for aspect ratio mask we've got a 4.3 setting 16.9 and then some various film settings and you can set your own setting if you're doing something unusual let's just go ahead for high def uh, video 16.9 and we get a little slider here a little opacity slider so we can either black it all the way out if that helps you compose your image or leave it somewhere in between if you want to see what's above and below your shot I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the TV safe this is this is showing action safe if we go back up to the view menu we can go to TV safe overlay and HD and we can do action and TV safe there action and title safe and so now you've got your action and title and your mask makes it very easy to compose your shot but let's say you also are going to be putting this out to standard def okay well we have many different ways you can configure this for instance let's say you know you're going to standard def um, uh, letterbox so what we could do is we could say size it to the image and fit it to the width okay so if we look I turn this all the way down this is what letterbox of a 69 image is gonna look like in your 43 standard def television okay but what if you don't want the standard def to be going out letterbox you want it cut out of the middle well you can go up to view and say size it to the height Okay, now that's sizing it to the height of the chip, which that might also be uh, what you're going for. If you know later you're going to open this up and actually use that extra space at the top and the bottom to get your 4.3, and some people work that way. And there's even a third option, which is to say size it uh, to the aspect mass um, height. So now that's going to show you uh, pulling a 4.3 out of the center of your, of your 16.9. Obviously, you may have some pan and scan, but um, this could definitely give you a good idea of what you're going to see. Now, in addition to, to both the aspect mask and the TV safe mask, we also have what's called the push in mask. Okay. Okay, so we're back to a 16 9 um, mask and TV safe guide. And now I'm going to add a push in mask. Push in mask. Will allow me to push in both the TV safe and the aspect mask okay and this we call it the push-in mask because it pushes in to the image but also because you may be planning to do a push in later in post that's one reason for using it another very vital reason for using it is if you are shooting stereo imagery 3d a left and a right image in that case it's very important to leave yourself a little room on the left and right to um, center your image stereoscopically. And this is the way that people are shooting stop motion right now. The big movies that have been shot in stereo with stop motion always leave room on the left and right so that way you can set the depth of, the, of your main objects later on in post. So very critical for stereo shooting to have this push-in mask. And this just shows you how the push-in mask, aspect ratio mask, and the TV safe guides all work together in drag and stop motion.